The Higgs Bell Initiative first began in 2013 in the fall. There are three main goals that are focused on the Higgs Bell Initiative. The first one is to improve the culture and climate of Higgs Bell schools by creating a positive environment. The second main goal is student involvement. Here at Higgs Bell, we expect a large amount of student engagement. Students should participate in daily lessons in the classroom. We consider being involved in extracurricular activities as an added bonus. Our third goal is maintaining our high academic and behavioral expectations for all of the students and employees here at Hicksville. Okay, so the Hicksville uh, initiative, um, I got the idea when I talked, uh, I saw Ron Clark speak in Columbus, and I thought it would be a good idea to have him come here and talk to our teachers, and he did, and from there it just kind of escalated into um, uh, an initiative that we wanted to try here at Hicksville. So basically the Hicksville initiative uh, was developed to do three things. One was to improve the culture and climate of our building and the other was to uh, encourage uh, the students to be engaged in the lessons so have the have very engaging uh, lessons with student involvement and the third goal was to have high expectations for both the students and the employees here at Hicksville schools thus creating a whole positive uh, environment for us to learn in. That was the ultimate goal of the Hicksville Initiative. From there, lots of things have developed. Uh, the uh, four houses, uh, the Amici, Karaji, Exemplar, and Satya houses, development of that, and then uh, all the uh, goals uh, that we go along with that and ways for kids to earn points for their house, and of course the essentials. So my involvement with the Hicksville Initiative, what, what ended up becoming the Hicksville Initiative, at first we called it Ron Clark stuff or something like that. So I was hired into Hicksville in the fall of 2013-2014 as an um, elementary principal. And Mr. Countryman and Mrs. Wynn had a gentleman named Ron Clark lined up in that October to come speak to the staff. I didn't know anything about Ron Clark. Um, it was one of the professional development days, which normally teachers or principals don't get too excited about so you're sitting all day and like hearing information but um, this guy got there and started talking and it was completely different than anything I, I had ever experienced he told us about his model school in Atlanta and he was really engaging and really exciting and um, for 90 minutes he spoke and I mean no one I don't think blinked for 90 minutes it was really one of the most powerful uh, professional development uh, sessions I'd ever been to, to see teachers that engage for an hour and a half was pretty cool. Uh, the, the Ron Clark Academy is a school in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, Mr. Ron Clark actually came to Hicksville schools, I want to say about eight years ago, and did a professional development opportunity with our entire staff, which inspired Mr. Countryman and uh, uh, the principals that were here to send a small group of our teaching staff down to experience the, the school down in Atlanta, Georgia. When they returned from that trip and they spoke to us, uh, they had a lot of excitement, they had a lot of uh, ideas, they had a lot of, um, um, I guess, opportunities for growth and relationships between teachers and students and the community that they expressed, but it wasn't going to work until we got our entire staff down there. And at that time, we took a large group uh, down and we experienced the Ron Clark Academy and it's, it's a very powerful, inspiring opportunity for professional development, which has led us to our Hicksville Initiative and our entire staff has gone down and it's a requirement now that any new staff member uh, is uh, again required to attend the Ron Clark Academy their first or second year here and it's just been a, a great opportunity for our entire school district and we're excited to continue to see it grow. Six or seven of us went and it was awesome like it was a very powerful experience and um, I remember coming on a flight I'm like I need to do some of it we need to do some of this with with Hicksville kids and the teachers are all excited they want to do all kinds of stuff and um, I'm coming on a flight I thought okay I'm gonna start with I want to start with um, the essentials the shake in the houses that's where I thought that'd be a good place to start with so um, the Hicksville essentials the essentials that go along with the Hicksville initiative we got that idea also from the Ron Clark Academy in Atlanta Georgia and uh, there, they have like 50 uh, essentials that they live by, but um, some of the essentials that they have at that private school would not work for us in a public school. So we had to adapt, uh, adapt some of those essentials, and then we had to 
uh, pick some that we liked and adapt them, as I said, but then we also had to create some of our own that, that would be more fitting for a public school. So we ended up with 24 essentials, and of course you can see those 24 essentials on our website and, see, and read all of them, but um, we expect our students and our staff to live by those 24 essentials Well, I believe that um, you know we practice what we preach here at Hicksville. I would hope that all of our staff, uh, including myself, does a great job supporting our students, uh, being positive, being being happy, uh, showing uh, you know a very optimistic approach to everything that we do here, and it should become contagious. And I feel that um, as students at Hicksville, that uh, our school will only be better if everyone in here is supportive of one another. Uh, we make good choices when people are watching and not watching and that you know we always think about you know big picture ideas of you know uh, it's not always about me or as the individual um, it's about you know us as a district us as a class us as a grade level um, you know and if we're doing what's best for everyone involved you know we're going to have success but my first fall at Hicksville I was, I was pretty busy with discipline and immediately upon starting this Hicksville initiative I saw a difference in that Okay, and it wasn't just it wasn't that we had bad kids. It's just we changed the way we thought about how you behave at school, and we changed the way that we thought about how we're supposed to be engaged in class. And the teachers bought into that. And um, the next three and a half years, I had almost no discipline problems. You know, the little guys once in a while, but they just they didn't hadn't quite bought into things yet. And that's been neat to watch the other Defiance County schools and some of the area schools jump on board with that. Even though you know we were the originals, you guys got to remember that it started with Hicksville. So um, throughout that winter, we developed the essentials and we collected ideas, and I would compile them and kind of spit them out to the rest of the teachers, and we tweaked them pretty much throughout the winter. And I think maybe early that spring, then we, we kind of rolled them out and started talking about the essentials. So the Hicksville Shake is a kind of interview competition. Our students are taught interview skills throughout the year, presentation skills, public speaking, and then what we call soft skills, which includes handshakes, looking uh, people in the eye when they're speaking to them, and different skills like that so that students are prepared for job interviews, college interviews, and just being a respectful and positive person when speaking with adults or other students. The houses were a little more slow in coming because it was a much bigger undertaking. Um, we had, I still remember, we had a, a meeting for teachers, voluntary, the last day of school in the afternoon. I thought I'd have like 10 people show up. I had like 25, 30 people rolling for this, like two o'clock on a teacher work day, last day of school. I mean, they're done, you know, they're done for the year. And they showed up and I'm like, I think we might be on to something here. So we started talking about house ideas. We had so many ideas, we're like, okay, we gotta slow down. Um, and we agreed to meet like, like let's just say two weeks time during during um, in June and I said let's let's come in and let's start narrowing down some of our ideas for this meeting we probably had 40 people show up teachers who were I mean they're off work for the summer and I, I was really impressed um, that's one of the things that has always stood out to me is the the Hicksville staff now dedicate they are to improving things or you know getting behind initiatives and doing the best thing for kids so at that meeting, the house system came together and the points and all that came together and they pretty much they split up into committees and they just went at it. And when we came back in the fall, we were all set to go with the house system, which was a big, a really big undertaking. And mind you, this all happened during the summer and they were, and they were off work, so that was cool. So our four houses, uh, the names were created by the staff members. Uh, before we started the Hicksville Initiative, we decided we kind of discussed what values we wanted our students and our staff to represent. After discovering what those values were, um, then we looked up different languages and um, tried to come up with uh, words that started with each of our ACES letters, A-C-E-S, um, from different languages. And that's why we have, not all of them are from the same language because we wanted to make sure that we were representing ACES as well. Um, and so some of the staff members worked together to um, research those names and making sure that they're related to the values that we wanted for our students.